Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking consider a river flowing toward a lake at an average velocity of 3 meters per second. Uh, uh, 3 meters per second and of uh, 500 meter cube per second. This is volume flow rate, right? At a rate of uh, 500 meter cube per second at a location 9 meter above the lake surface. Determine the total mechanical energy of the river, water per unit mass, and power generation potential of entire river at the location. So let's let's begin with the mechanical energy. So they they are asking to provide this one in terms of per unit mass, right? So let's see how we can do this. So first of all, we have to know the total mechanical energy equation. So total mechanical energy. So we can say total mechanical energy energy that is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy, right? So this is going to be equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. And we know the kinetic energy is going to be half mv square. Half mv square and potential energy is going to be mgh. So here they are asking this one in terms of per unit mass. So we have to divide everything by mass. So here if it's E, the thing we are going to find is E over M. E over M. So if we divide this one by mass, every mass is going to be cancelled. So here we only get half V square plus GH and that's going to be it, right? We have the velocity right here and we have height right here so we can apply that one to find this answer so let's apply everything and see uh, what we get half time 3 square plus 9.81 times 90 the height is 90 and this is going to be equal to 887.4 joule per kilogram right so that's answers the first question and the second question is asking and the power generation potential of the entire river at the at that location. So we are going to calculate the power, right? To calculate the power, we can use this equation. That is, power is equal to energy per unit mass. So that's E over M times volume flow rate. So let's say volume flow rate is Q times density. So density is rho right so let's apply all the values and see what we get 887.4 joule per kilogram that's going to be the energy over mass or you can say energy per unit mass right then energy per unit mass that's going to be joule joule per kilogram that's what we calculated before right and q that is volume flow rate that's provided right here that is 500 500 meter per second 500 meter cube per second and here we are dealing with the water so the density of the water is going to be 1000 kilogram per meter cube and if you notice the units cancel each other kilogram cancels with kilogram meter cube cancels with meter, meter cube and we are left with joules per second that is equal to watts joule per second is watts right so if you calculate this value you will get 4 Four three seven zero 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 zero. So since it's a big number, we can convert this one into. This is going to be watts. So we can convert this one into megawatts by getting rid of six digits like two four six. So this is going to be four forty three point seven megawatts, and that's going to be the power uh, gen the total power generator. And that's how we do this kind of problem. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching.